Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to do example related to batch apex. Although we do not have 100,000 records to process in the batch apex, but with this example, you're going to get a good understanding of how to implement or how to write a batch apex class, how to implement all the methods that are available, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to do an example and uh, through this example, what we are going to do is we are going to fetch all the account records where the billing state is equals to Texas. And uh, for every contact associated with that particular account, what we're going to do is we're going to update the mailing information. So this mailing information that we have mailing address will be updated to the billing address which is available on this account. So this 525 Lexington Avenue will get copied, will get copied over to this Jack Rogers mailing address. So this is what we are going to do using this example. So first thing is we are going to create a batch apex class by implementing the database dot batchable interface. And uh, once we implement that interface, we also need to implement the start method, the execute method, and the finish method. So right now, let's say if we go to these accounts, you see this Dixon has, these are the, this is the contact associated. So if you go ahead and uh, open up that contact, the mailing address is empty here. So after we run this batch process, what will happen is this address will copied to this mailing address. So this mailing address will be same as whatever the mailing address for the account that this contact is related to. So first thing what we're going to do is we will go to our developer console. And here I'm going to create an Apex class. And we will call this class as update contact address info. So this is the name of my class, Up update contact address info. So hit the OK button. First thing is we need to implement the database dot in batchable interface. So here I'm going to say implements database dot of batchable interface and it takes in a parameter of type s object so this is going to be the parameter type and then we're going to go ahead and make this class a global class instead of the public class we're going to make this as a global class and uh, once you hit the save button under the problem section you are going to see that there are three problems so the first is it is asking that we do not have, we have to implement all the methods, start, execute, and finish. So that is what the problems are. So we're going to go ahead and uh, implement our start method. So it takes the return type of this method is query locator. This is going to be the return type. And the name of the method is start. And it takes in one parameter of the type batchable context. So this is going to be my start method. So once you hit the save button, one of the error will go away. Similarly, we are going to implement the execute method and this method returns void. The return type is void. The name of the method is execute and it takes in one parameter of the type. It takes in two parameters. The first is the batchable context and the second one is the list of account records. Now, where will this list passed from? So this list will come from the start method. So as per the definition of the start method, this method is used to collect the records which will be passed to the execute method for the processing. And this start method will be called once at the beginning of the Apex job. And this method will return either this return type database.querylocator or it will give you an iterable which contains the records that will be passed to the execute method. So this is as per the definition of the start method. 
The execute method will be the actual logic that you want to perform on those records which are returned by the start method. That logic will go in this execute method. And for each batch, this execute method will be called. And the finish method is for after all the batches are processed, that's this is the method that will be called. And uh, this will be called once, it'll be called once because after the whole batch, all the batches are processed, this method will be called. And this is for sending an email saying stuff like that. So that is what we will use the finish method for. So going back to the developer console here, so right now we have only one error and that is because we need to implement our finish method. So here I'm going to say global, the return type is void, name of the method is finish and it takes in database dot of batchable context and this is BC. So this is what we have. The three methods are defined here. So we have the start method, execute and the finish method. Now, as per the definition, this method should return something, either a query locator or the iterable, which has all the records that will be passed to the execute method. So let's go ahead and write our return. Now this is going to return the query locator. And here we are going to pass the string. The query so what the query would be so I'm gonna go ahead and explain the query select the ID the billing street the billing city comma billing state and then plus the billing postal code and then we will also fetch the associated contact associated with these accounts mailing street mailing city and then the mailing state the mailing postal code from the contacts and then from account where the billing country sorry the billing state is equals to texas so let's say we are only interested in the texas so it will return you all the accounts associated all the accounts from texas and it will return you the contacts associated with those accounts so this is the query so now let's go ahead and see if this query is a valid one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my query editor and see if this query is going to return the record that i'm expecting it to return so in order to run it here we will get rid of all these so we know that we have written the right query Now if I go ahead and execute, so you can see here, this is what this is going to return. So it'll return you the billing street, the billing city and billing state for only for the Texas. It's only going to return you those. And it will return you the contacts associated with these account. So we have one contact to so right now mailing is null here. Then this is the second one, third we have so this is what this query is returning. So that's ex that's exactly what we want. So all these records will be passed to the execute method. Now inside of these execute method, what we're going to do. So this execute method takes two parameters. One of the type batchable context. The other one is the records that this start method is going to pass. And that will be stored in this list. So inside of this execute method, what we're going to do is we are creating a list to store the contact records. So we are creating a list here. This is right now. It's an empty list is equals to new of list contact. So this is the list that we have. So list of contacts, we have created an empty list here, and then we are going to iterate over the records 
these records so these records are nothing that is passed from the start method so we are going over or iterating over the scope variable which has which is the list of account records and we will also go over the contacts associated with those accounts so we're going to go ahead and uh, look for the contact present in that account and then next thing is we are will we'll update the mailing information for that contact to whatever is the bill, billing information of the account so contact dot of mailing street that is going to be equals to account dot of billing street similarly contact dot of mailing city will be equals to account dot of billing city similarly contact dot of mailing state is equals to account dot of billing state similarly contact dot of mailing postal code that is equals to account dot of billing postal code and then once we have updated the contact we will add these contact to the list so we're going to go ahead and add the contact to the list that we created earlier the empty list and then we are going to update the list so we're going to go ahead and update the contact and then we are not going to do much in the finish method so we'll leave it as it is right now what we do is so this is the method that we have so what we are going to what we are doing in this method let me explain to you so inside of this method we have a we are implementing this database dot of batchable interface and then once we implement we have to implement the start execute and the finish method so inside of the start method we have to collect the records that will be processed and that will be passed to the execute method so this is the query and it is going to fetch all the accounts where the billing status texas and the contacts associated with those accounts so it is going to fetch that so basically it is going to fetch how many records if we execute this query these are all the records that will be fetched through this query once these records are fetched that will be passed to this execute method and uh, this ex in this execute method what we are doing is we are going over the scope variable which is nothing but which contains all the records and then we are iterating over those records one by one and we are also iterating over the contacts associated with that account and then we are updating the mailing street with the billing street the mailing city with the billing city mailing state with the billing state postal code with the billing postal code and then we have updated these so basically we're updating the mailing information of the contact with the billing information from the account associated with that contact once we have done that we are finally doing a dml update with updating the contacts and then inside of the finish method we are not doing anything so right now if we have to call this batch how we're going to do that so in order to call this we batch job we need to create an object of this class we'll call this as update contact obj is equals to new of this class so we're going to creating an object of this class and then we are passing this object to the and then what we're doing is we are passing this object to the database execute method so there is the execute match batch method so we are passing this object that we just created to this execute method so i have not hit the execute button yet okay so without before doing that let's go ahead and uh, It'll, once we hit the execute button, it'll create an Apex job and etc. So right now, if we go to this Dixon, it is billing uh, status Texas, and this is the account. So right, this is the contact Andy Young. Now, if you look at the mailing inf mailing information, is empty for this contact. So what will happen is after we execute, this should be copied over to this mailing address. That is that's how we're going to test it.
so now what we have is so let's this is the final program so if we go back to the Apex jobs here, so right now there should be a couple of Apex jobs should already be there and it should be completed. So we have five of them are failed and one of them is completed. So what will happen is once we execute this program, the contact mailing information will be same as the account billing information. So if you go ahead and hit the execute button, And if we go to the Apex jobs, so if you go to the setup and if you go to the Apex jobs here, you will see that there will be another job got completed. And the timing is 152, which is basically, I think this is in the PST format or something. In this, uh, yeah, so it's 152. Right now we have 352. That's CST. So this is what finally happened. So we are able to come the batch process completed successfully. If there was an error, it will give you a failed here. And now if we go to the accounts and if you go to this Dixon, and now if you go ahead and open up this contact, you should see that the mailing information is updated and it is same as what we have it here. So it's the same as the account information. Similarly, if you go back and open other ones, let's say if you go to this, this gen point and for the gen point, this is the contact Eddie Franks so, uh, and uh, Edna Frank. So if you go back and look up the mailing information, it is same as what we have for the account. So our batch process, what it does is it picked up all the account associated. So basically how we will know what all it picked up so you can go ahead and uh, use this query, fetch this query and run it in this query editor and it'll whatever the records that it fetched, the same number of records will go to the execute methods. By default, the each batch will have 200 records. So we only have 12 records, I think. So we do not, it will only have it in one batch. And uh, here we are updating the information for the contact. And then in the finish method, we are not doing much. So this is how you ex run, you create a batch Apex class, you provide the definitions of all these three methods, and we already looked at what each of the method does and how to call this batch Apex. And if you wanna see this, if the batch Apex job is successful or not, you can see under this Apex jobs that we go from setup, we can look it up the Apex jobs here and it'll tell you if the job was successful or not. So this is all about batch epics.